All right, let's go ahead and toss it over to meteorologist Tracy Humphrey. Courtney Dempsey. I was about to alone. say, yes. we've been hanging with Courtney too long. Yes, we, we know a whole lot about Ryan Coogler <laughs> and his connections here to yes. Sacramento. Uh, well, you know a whole lot about the weather in Sacramento today and the weekend I ahead. I do, and I'm going to also take a look at the weather uh, on the East Coast, Dina, because we're still looking at what happened with uh, Hurricane Nicole. Now, she made landfall early yesterday morning, but she is still wreaking havoc that storm is so we're looking at everything from tornado watches tornado warnings flash flood warnings all because of what's left the remnants of that tropical system so i'm going to kick things off taking a look at that radar it is a three-day weekend so just in case you're traveling and many people are and you're headed to the southeast you're headed to the eastern seaboard you're headed to the northeast you could very well be impacted so this is the storm again it was a hurricane that was a low pressure system and it is just churning some of those outer rain bands still impacting parts of the southeast like Georgia, but it also extends all the way up just outside of Vermont. It is a broad and far reaching system. So here are just a couple of the watches and warnings. I got a tornado watch illustrated by the yellow that you see there. Tornado warning that is that really small red coming in through portions of Virginia, and I have a flash flood warning where you see any of the green. We're also looking at wind advisories as well. So what happens is as this system starts to move off to the north and east, all of the storm impacts associated it with it or moving along with it and it is causing some travel delays if you're headed toward DC Reagan looking at a 40 minute delay because of low clouds that's been a drill all morning long you know how that starts you get one delay you get another delay and it's just really a bottleneck Newark looking at one hour delays because of wind and that's going to be something in the forecast if you are heading again to the eastern seaboard and the northeast now this system is expected to be all the way into New England by early tomorrow morning and that will leave those remaining locations like the eastern seaboard in the southeast they'll be clearing out and travel should be better as far as we're concerned our weather's so nice I actually had a chance to talk about some other people's weather <laughs> another cold start for us a few more clouds a few weekend showers are possible and cool temperatures remain in our forecast here's a look at some of the afternoon highs we do, are expecting a mix of sun and clouds near 60 degrees today for marysville all the way down to stockton mid to upper 50s coming in for those foothills and the lower 40s coming in for the sierra today with quite a bit of sunshine and if you're going up there to take advantage of all that wonderful snowfall we got earlier this week lucky you so we do have a small chance of a few light showers coming in saturday should be less than than a tenth of an inch. Afternoon highs in the upper 30s both days. More sunshine expected on Sunday. Let's hit the valley floor. I got 56 for Saturday, 60 degrees on Sunday. As we get closer to the foothills, it's going to be chilly Saturday. Maybe a few minor showers, not expected to add up to much, but you could see a few wet roadways. I can't rule it out completely, so I'll keep it in the forecast. Upper 40s for Saturday, more sunshine Sunday with temperatures responding to the mid 50s. And let's hit the city by the bay. 58 for Saturday with mostly sunny skies and 60 degrees Sunday with more sunshine to boot. Here we go. So we get to the weekend. We got a small chance of showers on Saturday. I showed you that earlier with the cold front. Uh, so we're coming in for Sunday. I got 60, plenty of sunshine. But look at what happens next week. It is still cold. We're still in the 30s for the morning, and we're still cooler than average for the afternoon. All in all, though, it's going to be a wonderful Veterans Day and a pretty nice weekend. Back to you, Dana. Yes, thank you so much, Tracy.